Hi everybody, welcome to Pop Dust Presents. I'm your host Brent Butler and we're here with Shafi. What's going on? How you doing? What's happening Shafi? Nice to meet you and thanks for doing the interview. Absolutely, thank you for being here. We had the pleasure of premiering one of your music videos recently yeah, yeah. on, uh, on popdust.com. That was awesome, yeah, yeah. Tell us a bit about that, that song. So yeah, that one was a collab with uh, a few guys, this dude Sam Farrar, uh, and Rune 5, um, and this guy Jake Torrey, who's like a really awesome songwriter. Uh, so yeah, we got in the studio, and Sam's like 10 minutes from where, I, where I'm based. Uh, so yeah, super convenient, and uh, yeah, we just kind of you know combined forces, and it was a really good like collaborative uh, experience. Uh, and where are you based? Uh, in LA. When did you make the move to LA? I'm from LA. My parents and grandparents are from New York, but I was born in LA, grew up there. Uh, so yeah, I've been, been there my whole life. So with the, the new tour, uh, what can people expect if they're coming out to see you? We have a whole lighting production set up. Uh, it's like synced with the music. Uh, we have these like three really tall bars with like a bunch of lights on each one. Uh, and I think it adds like a lot to the you know production of the music. Um, and there's also music, right? And there's also music. It's not yeah, just, just a like light show. strobe show, like yeah, a light planetarium. Show. <laughs> planetarium. That would be a pretty uh, yeah abstract, or it'd be like an art exhibit or something doing that. Uh, but yeah, there's music, uh, and yeah, I think the lighting element is gonna um, just be something different that maybe people aren't expecting for this tour. So yeah, excited to. To bring that to New York. For fans of yours and for people that don't know your music, how would you describe it? I had read there's somehow like a maybe a mix between like a Frank Ocean and, and John Mayer, but how would you how would you put it? Um, yeah, I, I think it's like you know the melodies are pretty pop. I, I would say like vocal wise, uh, and then the production. I, I kind of experiment with all sorts of stuff, um, like. Uh, yeah, R&B, electronic, kind of dance vibes, um, like down tempo stuff. Um, so it's kind of all you know across the board. Are you, you know? doing a lot of the production yourself for the music? Yeah, pretty much like ninety percent of the stuff I'm doing myself, and then I'll collab like net, you know here and there with guys like or like that Cool Again track, you know, with uh, Sam and Jake. Um, so yeah, from time to time I'll collab with other other guys too. Producing mostly on like Ableton or what do you Yeah, do? producing in Ableton. Big yeah, everything in Ableton. Nice. Like yeah, I was in Logic for a while and then like a couple years ago uh, I made the switch over to Ableton. Different Skies was the first song that I like fully did in Ableton. Um, and then I like kind of fell in love with it and just like a lot faster working in there. And what is so. the process like for you? Like did you start as a guitarist or anything or were you straight to production softwares? Uh, so I started playing guitar when I was like three or four, like really, yeah. Abnormally young. Yeah, I got into it because my dad was, I played a little bit and so I, I got into it. Um, and then it yeah, took lessons for a bunch of years and started singing around that time, playing piano also when I was young. When you say um, that time, do you mean three? Yeah, like super, yeah, super young. My mom played piano, classical piano. So I was just like, a, I grew up with music, like from the get go. Um, and uh, yeah, I started producing when I was like 14 uh, and like writing around that time too uh, in Pro Tools. I kind of okay. was introduced to that through my guitar teacher at the time. Yeah, uh, and I just fell in love with it. It was just like a cool way of kind of you know expressing myself and, and you know putting ideas down. So a lot of the artists that we talk to that come from LA speak a lot to the <clears throat> collaborative nature of you know the, the music you know production seen out there yeah. do you find that just the city the the way everything works out there in general you you tend to you know you're working on a track and then you kind of bring this person in the studio that person this person hears it they and yeah. it sort of comes together like I that i mean a little bit of that just like that that session with sam i mean him being 10 minutes from me was really nice you know we, we did a bunch of sessions over there um Boombox Cartel, if you know those guys, are really cool producers. And they're big fans of the show. Shout out to Boombox. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, so we did a song together, and they were like really close by as well. So I think music is uh, in LA. It's yeah, it's a great hub. When you um, say ten minutes away, is that including traffic and stuff? Yeah, yourself? pretty much. Yeah, it's like they were. So super they close. they literally live on the next like, block. Yeah, more or less. <laughs> when I try to get anywhere in ten minutes in L.A., especially yeah, if you're trying rough. to get like the studios in like NoHo or something, and you're in Santa Monica, it's yeah. like I'll see you in six hours. Yeah, when New York is pretty 
I like that too. You've had over, I think, like 130 million streams on Spotify. Mm. Uh, I mean, you're here on Pop Dust. You're obviously at ridiculously high, uh, you know, a level of, of success. Mm. How did it happen? What was the break? The first project I put out on Spotify um, was this EP, uh, Conversations in the AM, and uh, one of the songs was Takes My Body Higher, uh, and that went viral. It, it got on this New Music Friday playlist, which was like a great way of, of getting music out there as like an initial push. So I got on there. Did it just um, happen or like did you have some people behind the well, scenes? Well my, man my management like you know was trying to get into the, yeah. some of the playlists and I, you know the guy who curates that um, you know listened to it and you know I guess he liked it and then you put it in the playlist uh, and from there it went viral. I think it went to six in the US, 15 globally um, and then got on all these other playlists and then just kind of you know caught on uh, so that was kind of my first song that really, you know, yeah, had some solid traction. And then from there, yeah, just kept putting out music. That's way cool. Yeah. You're on tour now, and it seems like you've got, you know, <laughs> singles and videos dropping. Is there plans for, like, a next, like, a big album? Or are you just sort of doing singles, seeing how stuff goes? Yeah, well, so we dropped this album, Lenses, uh, like, a few months ago. And with the tour, I'm promoting that. Lenses? Uh, I, yeah, I had nice. these here just in case you mentioned <laughs> lenses or anything <laughs> nice. like eyewear related. Yeah, so we put that out pretty recently, and now I'm just, you know, promoting that on the tour. And then I think uh, the tour wraps up, like, around March 9th. And then probably end of March, beginning of April, I'll start cranking away, you know, a new album. And um, Have like, you considered any uh, co-branding or sponsorship opportunities with, you know, lens crafters or <laughs> any eyewear? No, I should ask a, yeah, I'm pretty impressed about that, trying to, yeah, hook that up. But, or yeah, camera we, lenses. Yeah, that'd be cool. No, I haven't, uh, yeah, I gotta get on that, I though. I some pretty good stuff. ideas. All right, so yeah, far we have a concert fun. that is only lights. Yeah. <laughs> and we have a partnership yeah. with, uh, glasses. That'd be cool. Or camera do it. lenses. Yeah. And you've already got endorsed by uh, Transformers video game or yeah, whatever this Anthem is or whatever's coming out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> got a lot of partnerships on the table. So I'm not sure who's on tour with you right now, but if yeah. you could tour with RPC. anybody on Earth, yeah, Frank Ocean or like one of those, you know, John Mayer, one of those guys would be. They're both awesome. huge fans. <laughs> yeah. Pop does presents. Not nice. Frankie. I don't know. Yeah, Frankie and John Mary, <laughs> you owe me some favors, buddy. So I think it's gonna happen. Be cool. We will be yeah. getting faxes or is it, people still fax the page page, page. Yeah, my beeper is going to be bloop, bloop, later on and you're going to be on tour with those cats yeah, yeah, that would be pretty awesome is there like a message in the music is there a message on the the album lenses or something that fans are really you know taking away from the music yeah i would say like um the message of the album is um perspective how you see things like who you're with in a relationship can affect how you see the world so if you're like with somebody who's super positive and kind of you know bringing positive energy to, um, to the relationship that affects how you see things and so it's all about yeah just perspective and um, yeah like the lenses with which you see things so that's kind of the concept of that. it and it's like both the, you know the ups and downs and relationships and uh, yeah just trying to capture kind of all those different feelings. And, um, do you ever do like a, a full band or other musicians or is it typically like you, you got, you know, your Ableton <coughs> set up and your guitar, like what, what's the feel? Yeah, so for the tour it's just me. So I'm, I'm playing guitar, singing, like keyboard, triggering sounds. Um, but uh, I have done like more of a full band set up. Um, yeah, so it just depends. Uh, but yeah, I've done like, you know, with a drummer and a bass player and, uh, you know, more of a full setup. But for tour, it's just like, it would have been hard to bring those guys out to like, you know, 21, 21 cities. So uh, I'm just doing it myself for, for this uh, this run. It's so. a lot of cities. Where are you, yeah. where are you at after New York? Uh, we're going to Boston and then flying up to Toronto, then down to Michigan, uh, Chicago, Minneapolis, and then I forget what's after that. But That's more yeah. than a lot of people can name that I that I interview. Oh, for a sure. A lot of times it's like, it's like, so you're on tour right now. They're like, yeah, we're crazy excited, first headlining U.S. tour. And I'm like, where are you going next? And they're like, looking over to their manager, like, line. Uh, where, where, yeah. What other cities are you going to be going to? 
<laughs> it is like pretty disorienting. It's like oh, you I can imagine track where you are and like because you're just you know boom boom boom. Like, yeah, I mean yeah. you guys literally came with like luggage like because you played in Philly last night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And do you have fun with that? Is it is it fun touring or it's, are you like please let me go home? I think it's a mix of being like a lot of fun. You know, meeting the fans, like people coming to the shows, like putting faces behind the streams on Spotify, like you know all that um, is amazing and. I think it's also like pretty exhausting, you know, just like hopping around a lot. So that that's kind of the harder part of it. But um, overall, it's like totally worth it. And yeah. Good luck with the tour. Very excited for uh, the music coming out. And uh, for those of you who haven't seen it yet, definitely check out your most recent music video, which just came out a couple weeks ago now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It came out. Yeah. Awesome. Recently. All right, man. Thanks. Thank you. Cool.